पाकिस्तान एक थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्री है और मैं मैं यहाँ सेकेंड वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स फेस कर रहा हूँ लेकिन असली चैलेंज तो यहाँ के थर्ड वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स फेस करने में है so to get a glimpse of the contrast in karachi you need to need to there is no better place to start with than when you get a busy traffic intersection on any major vehicular artery of the city during peak hours the landscape of a traffic intersection in karachi presents us with an analogy that fittingly serves to describe the various disparities and inequalities in green and this urban center the intersection not only connects the different streets that converge at it but also the paths of the city's residents that hail from all walks of life and all kinds of different classes ethnicities backgrounds and neighborhoods but there is something all karachiites share feelings about cricket but is even that fair पोइट वन सेड नहीं तेरे नशे मन कसरे सुल्तानी के गुंबद पर तू शाहीन है बसेरा कर पहाड़ों की चट्टानों में वेट स्टॉप दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू रीच द टॉप फील्स द नीड टू बी कंपेटेटिव लाइक द सिस्टम डिमांड्स डिमांड्स टू मेक न्यू लिबरल इंपीरियल And just like that on this landscape we see an entropy coming together of the deprived the dissatisfied and the neoliberal imperialist Now for example let's start with this fancy car hey, I'm a neoliberal imperialist who am I a neoliberal imperialist I'm someone who gets rich because I am rich and I believe in it Why shouldn't I for all I know that's what imperials do right I'm a businesswoman who worked hard So I could sit behind closed windows in my big shiny air conditioned car to be oblivious to the city's scorching heat and the polluted air. I'm someone who lives in a house too big for myself, surrounded by houses that are just as big as mine. Gated communities, well maintained residential areas, no power outages, and of course, clean water all year round. My kids go to the most expensive private schools in the city. Where they can blend in with other kids, just like themselves. I've never set foot inside a public hospital before. It's because I can afford the most expensive healthcare in the city. I wear designer clothes that I bought from the most stunning glass wall shopping mall. I'm that person who never has to wait in long queues at public institutions because I have the right to the city and the means to exercise it. It is also in my big shiny car that I sometimes see a dissatisfied individual. whose own privilege and education haunt him every day at an intersection like this right next to the big shiny car is a person on a motorbike for which he has paid installments every month her older sister goes to some small private school on the corner of the tight street they live in it is the only education that the man on the motorbike could afford as the only source of his income is a small monthly wage that he gets after tirelessly working for 12 hours a day 6 days a week not enough for surplus accumulation or investment to produce more capital the girl on the fuel tank was born to hang curtains in a crowded hall of beds in a public hospital the clothes that she is wearing were bought from her mother a year ago from a small shop in a congested bazaar also on this intersection are rusty old buses laden with people these are the people who have no choice but to travel in crowded old buses that is unsafe on a number of different levels just so they could save up what little money they can for the rent of their small apartment on the outskirts of the city these are the people who have never had set foot inside a glass walled shopping mall or ate at a fancy restaurant or know the feelings of their heart desires being fulfilled the man on the motorbike and the people inside the rusty buses are deprived deprived of the basic material and legal rights and deprived of aspirations and ambitions for the future between the deprived the dissatisfied and the neoliberal imperialists 
is another category of people that are just not deprived but also excluded. Excluded from everything that has to do with the modern urban. These are the beggars, the pen sellers and the windscreen washers. They have no rights, no property, no democratic importance, no access to education, no health care and no place to clean themselves. They live in slums or underside the bridges like outcasts that can only view the city from the outside and never be a part of it. Even though they inhabit it, wake up in it and make it their home just as much as any other.